Hey, it's Aisha. Growing up how I did, I was never told that I needed sunscreen. No one in my family used, used sunscreen, and it was just never brought up. And I guess it was because people just thought, okay, you're black, you're not going to burn, you're going to tan, so you're okay. But in recent years, I found that <clears throat> um, being in the sun, like even if your arm is just like, you know, hanging out the window of the car and the sun's beaming down on it, um, even on a cold day sometimes, the sun just felt overwhelming and as if it was kind of burning me. It just felt stronger than it used to when I was little. So I realized that you actually do need sunscreen and I did some research on the best types of sunscreen to use. Um, so this is what I found. The American Association of Dermatology suggests that people use um, a sunscreen of SPF 30 or higher year round, even when it's not even sunny outside at all, just if you're going out of your house. Mm, I thought this was kind of extreme until I looked at some of the results of not using sunscreen um, online, just some pictures, and just what it does to you over the years, and it's like the number one cause of aging. Um, as well as like poor diet and stuff, but that's a huge one. Like sun damage is huge, so definitely want to avoid that. Um, and it also, you know, you can get cancer. You can get really sick from that. So you want to definitely block against U, UVA and UVB rays, both of them. That's the first thing. Your sunscreen should block against both UVA and UVB rays. Not just one, but both. Okay, now while I was researching, I found out that there was two types of sunscreen. There's the chemical sunscreen and there's natural. <clears throat> and they both work two different ways. So the natural sunscreen works where after you put a layer of it on your skin, it, um, the, you know, the rays hit you, but instead of them soaking into your skin, that type of sunblock actually um, makes the rays bounce off and like it reflects or um, scatters the rays back off of you. So that's how natural works. Chemical sunscreen works where it just blocks the rays from being absorbed into your skin. Uh, it doesn't really say exactly how it does that, but pretty much instead of the rays being absorbed into your skin, the chemical sunscreen acts as a barrier where the rays just absorb into that layer, the sunscreen layer, versus going through that and going to your skin. That's how the two work. I was looking up different types. Um, it seems like one of the really good ones for chemical um, sunscreen was Neutrogena. And for natural, um, Badger, Badger SPF sunscreen. I actually got it at Whole Foods the other day. Badger SPF. It's actually SPF 15. I meant to get SPF 30. Hopefully they'll let me take it back and get the right one. But um, the good thing about natural is it doesn't smell weird or plasticky or something. I really don't like that smell and I realized that a lot of the chemical ones do stink. So I didn't want that. Just to make sure that you're getting what actually works, here's a list of the chemical, the chemicals in the chemical sunscreen that block both UVA and UVB rays. And here's a list of the natural sun block agents in natural sunscreen that block both types of rays as well. So don't forget to put the sunscreen on every day. And on the website I was looking at it says to like cover even your ears and like every part of your skin. Um, and I guess that's the only way to really be protected against sun damage. So just keep that in mind when trying to pick out a sunscreen. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching. One.